So like, why am I going to change my body to fit in my wedding dress? And honestly, I didn't really love it. I am right now probably trying to fight the biggest book hangover I have ever had. Hi everyone, it's me. Welcome to another video. I don't know what this video is going to be, but it is the last weekend before the wedding. So we've been doing some wedding prep. Yeah, it's the last stretch now. It is Sunday morning. I just did a Pilates slash bar workout from Kaylee Daniels. That was really tough. If you guys want a tough bar Pilates workout, try that one. But yeah, it's time for some breakfast. We're just trying to decide what we want. Do you want it? I love eggs. Okay, let's make breakfast. Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down. You can still. So this one is my plate, and this is fiance sandwich. Oh, I think the cats like this one. Okay, so yesterday we went to the Asian market near us and I saw these and I was like, I need to have this. <laughs> I'm obsessed with taro everything. So yeah, I saw these taro milk like juice box things and I was like, yes. So I'm having one of these. I actually tried one yesterday and it was just like so good. It tastes exactly like taro boba but without the boba. <laughs> For all the BTS fans. Oh yeah, this is like a BTS guy. Jungkook. I'm not well versed in K-pop, so. I also just love how the straw that comes with it is also purple. I don't know why, that just like makes me really happy that it all looks like so good together. I feel like this is just the flavor of my childhood. Like even though I've never tried these juice box taro milk things before. Mm, just that like taro flavor brings me back to being a kid. So I am going to go on a little, I don't know, outdoor day trip. <laughs> it's very hot today. It's so funny because last week I was literally saying in my video, like it's been so nice having the weather a little bit cooler, like it's still warm weather, but it's like not as stifling hot anymore. And especially in the evenings and nights, it's been a lot cooler. But this weekend, I don't know, we're in some sort of another heat wave and it has been so hot and like yeah today's really hot too but obviously you know it's good to go outside <laughs> i am going to go outside and see if i can brave it i'm going to bring this book with me that i'm currently reading i don't know if i'm gonna go to the park where i usually go i'm just gonna wander around and see if i can settle myself somewhere but yeah before I go, wanted to give you a reading update. I finished all of the Sarah J Mass books. Overall, it took me two months to read all of them. So all 15 books I have finished. That is the Akatar series, that is the Throne of Glass series, and the first two Crescent City books. I'm officially caught up. I am right now probably trying to fight the biggest book hangover I have ever had in my life. I finished Crescent City yesterday and after I read that and like if you guys have read it you know that the second Crescent City book ends on a <laughs> pretty major cliffhanger. Honestly, I saw it coming, not to that extent, and I didn't know when it was gonna happen, but I definitely saw it coming with all the clues hinting towards it. Without saying more, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I was just like, this is so unfair. I wanna keep reading about this universe and this story and these characters. And I feel like as I was going through her series, like I read Akatar first, I felt okay when I finished Akatar because I was like, you know what? There's Throne of Glass. I have a whole other series to get into. And then I read Throne of Glass and like felt just so like lost at the end of Kingdom of Ash. Like what do I do? But at least again, I had another series to look forward to. So I began Crescent City. And now that I'm finished all of them until January when Crescent City 
3 comes out. I just, yeah, I was like so lost. I have my entire TBR, physical TBR pile of books I bought like three months ago and have been collecting dust while I've been reading a Sarah J Mass. And I just like didn't feel pulled to read any of them. Like I just didn't feel interested. So I did ask you guys on Instagram like for book recommendations, advice on if I should try and tackle my TBR first or just like get new books because there are other series that I want to get into from other authors but from my physical TBR a lot of you said this book was really cute so <laughs> I bought this so long ago when I was still into just like real world cutesy romance and now I'm like I feel like I can't read a book unless there's like high stakes anyone could die at any second magic wings teleporting fire shadows like dragons I need the darkness and the danger in books but you know what this book is cute I'm about halfway through I started yesterday it's helping me kind of get over my reading hangover but it's just not the same I feel like this Book. The story has been done a million times. This is Better Than the Movies, by the way, by Lynn Painter. Very popular. It's definitely one of the trending Goodreads and TikTok books. Basically, I mean, I don't know what happens in the end, but it basically seems like childhood friend neighbors that like reconnect and there's like the whole fake dating trope and you know, probably the underdog will get the girl. Like, it's just, I feel like this is a story that's been done so many times. It is written in a very adorable way like it's a good way of telling the story but i just i've read this already like i haven't read this already but i have read this already you know what i mean but yeah it's i'm getting through it i feel like if i stop reading altogether i'm just gonna like not read <laughs> again for a while it's just like not as fun or like not the same anymore and i feel like there is a hole in my heart where sarah j mass's characters used to be and now they're gone <laughs> i'm gonna go for a walk and see where we end up i don't know <laughs> back inside you guys it is indeed really hot out there definitely got a little bit of a tan i was out for like not even that long like about an hour an hour and a half i guess but yeah that's just about all i can take for today it is so hot i'm gonna just enjoy the nice cool inside but i wanted to show you these new pillows i got well these are the covers i have the pillows here because i got this new couch that I'm currently sitting on. I just decided that the white pillows, like these little white pillows, I like them, but they definitely looked better on the black couch with the gray couch that kind of just like muddled together. So I decided to get these ones too. These are like probably like a faux leather kind of a thing. And I feel like it would bring some warmth and some like dimension. So I'm just going to stuff these pillows. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about how I am or am not prepping for my wedding in terms of like diet exercise it's a very common thing for people to like go on a diet before their wedding or like do a very intense exercise and weight loss routine or something like that and i am not doing any of that <laughs> that's probably not that big of a surprise for you guys who have been following me and know how i feel and like what my stance is in terms of like dieting weight loss etc but basically yeah i haven't really been doing anything special to prep for the wedding in terms of like my body i've just been taking care of myself as usual trying to eat balance not restricting any foods that i like yeah just like being normal basically i bought my wedding dress and got it fitted and altered to fit me, right? So like, why am I going to change my body to fit in my wedding dress if I can just buy a wedding dress that fits me? <laughs> I should probably have let these pillows like expand out of their packaging before I pillowcased them, but I'll probably just do that over time themselves, right? I think that looks pretty good. Should I put the white in front or behind you think hold on let me try the other way hmm like that or like that maybe i'll leave them mismatched and see what fiance thinks when he's back home <laughs> Good morning, friends. 
I'm essentially having the same thing as yesterday for breakfast, except I now have blueberries as well. Everything else is essentially the same. It was just so delicious. I want another. <laughs> Tapatio, such a good sauce for eggs. Seriously. Fiance wants to show you his. Explain what you have done. Two is more than one and four is more than two. <laughs> okay, but the thing I don't understand about your logic is you always say you don't like mini foods. Like you like one giant mm -hmm. pancake instead of like 10 mini pancakes. Mm -hmm. But then you do this <laughs> and that goes against all of your logic. <laughs> so really you're on my team where mini foods are better. I like giant foods that are cut up. <laughs> but if they're mini, to begin with, you don't even have to cut them up. Like imagine four mini sandwiches just all ready for you. So we are going out on the boat today with fiance's dad. Oh, it looks like it's a nice day. I think it's just another really hot day, which is actually okay because it's usually colder by the water, but there is an air show happening right now. And we're gonna go see if we can look at some cool planes. And there's one in particular <laughs> that fiance really wants to see. Thick Albert. <laughs> it's called Fat Albert. Yeah, Fat Albert. They're all like military planes, right? Most of them. That's the plan for today. <laughs> These late nights are all that we know now. A game of hide and see. Oh, I can't wait till the earthquakes so I can shake you off. Let me fall far away for three, two, one. you guys yet today so yeah yesterday was really fun as you saw we were out on the boat for like five hours so we were like literally out the entire day got some sun as you can tell but now it is tuesday long weekend is over sadly so we are back to work also things are just getting like crazy because the wedding is now in four days which i Still can't really believe things are needing to come together so I'm getting emails from all of my vendors and it's just a little hectic trying to make sure everything is organized for the day and everyone knows what time and where they need to be so yeah there's a lot going on <laughs> and I'm a little overwhelmed and I'm trying to also like work and do my job and make videos for you guys there's so much going on and I'm a little overwhelmed I'm pretty stressed to be honest hopefully <laughs> <laughs> Everything will work out and the stress will be over in a few days. But yeah, that's basically my life. I feel like that's also why in terms of workouts, I'm kind of choosing not less intense workouts because everything Kaylee Daniels is super intense, just in a different way. But I'm choosing more like slow paced workouts, like instead of HIIT, instead of like a big Caroline Gerben weight session, I am choosing more like Pilates or yoga, strong flows and stuff like that because I just need some calm energy in my life because <laughs> everything else is just going crazy. Yeah, just wanted to take a couple minutes to catch up with you because I haven't talked to you this morning yet. I'm gonna continue with my work day and I'll let you know if anything exciting happens. <laughs> Good morning. Clearly nothing happened that was interesting enough to vlog yesterday. It is Wednesday morning, which means it is my last day of work before the wedding and the honeymoon and everything. So that's exciting, but that also means I'm gonna have to like wrap up everything <laughs> today at work before I leave and make sure 
everything's in place, you know. I'm going to do some morning movement this morning. I haven't decided what I want to do yet, but I think something, again, that will kind of like soothe my mind because everything is just so hectic otherwise. I also wanted to give you a reading update. So I finished this book last night. This is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. It's like a dark academia murder mystery kind of a book and I had high hopes for this one. Some of you also told me that this one had like good fall vibes, which it did. And that's why I read it because it's officially September now, even though it's really hot outside. It is officially September. I finished this last night and honestly, I didn't really love it. I feel like the story could have been interesting, like the whole idea of it, but the way it it was presented wasn't really my thing like I don't know it seems slow at times like for most of the book I was like what am I even reading and then occasionally some plot would pick up and I'd be like okay I'm into this this is good and then it would like slow right down again I also feel like I didn't like a single character in this book <laughs> which I think might have been the point of the book as well like you weren't supposed to like anyone in here I don't think but I just find it like personally hard to read a book where I don't like any of the characters. I didn't feel connected to a single character. So yeah, it was kind of hard for me to get through, but I did read it really quickly. I read this in like two or three days and it's like a 550 page long book, but I just wanted to like get through it because I wasn't enjoying it, which might sound kind of backwards because I feel like a lot of people would read slower if they don't like a book. But for me, I have never DNF'd a book. Like I have finished every single book I have started ever in my life. So I'm like, the only way I could get through this book is to just like power through. Yeah, I read this book super quick, but I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I think it also might just be because I'm still in a fantasy mood. Like I just wanna read fantasy books and I tried to read a cutesy romance and I tried to read a dark academia and I just want fantasy. But I do have some fantasy books in my physical TBR. I'll show you what I have. Okay, my TBR is this side of this bottom shelf. I have Serpent of the Wings of Night, One Dark Window, Red Queen, I think is also, it's like a YA fantasy. So I'm thinking one of those books maybe next. I'm leaning towards not Red Queen for now because my wedding is coming up and the honeymoon and I know the Red Queen is like part of a larger series so I don't want to start something that big right now but maybe One Dark Window or Serpent of the Wings of Night because those are duologies I think or at least there's like only two books out of those series for now. I also want to get into the Caraval and the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, but I've heard it's better to read Caraval first if you want to get into Once Upon a Broken Heart, so I do want to get into that series, but obviously I'm not going to buy any new books right now until I get back from my honeymoon and everything. But yeah, that's my book update. Let me know if you have any other book recommendations because now that I'm finished the SJM universe, I'm like needing more other books to read. Although I have so many on my TBR that maybe I don't need more, but I always welcome suggestions. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm procrastinating. Let's um, do some movement. Ready for the last work breakfast? Mm -mm -mm. Cheers! Hi friends. Okay, I am just gonna end this video here. I have decided. <laughs> I am in the middle of my work day still. I just had lunch, but I feel like the rest of today and tomorrow are just gonna be like hectic wedding prepping days. So I'm not gonna have like the energy or time or mind capacity to also film. So yeah, that's this video. <laughs> definitely a lot of things going on. I'm definitely doing a lot more like calmer workouts as you have seen, but that's basically yeah, how I have been preparing to get married. And in my next video that I upload, whenever that will be, I will officially be married.
which is crazy. <laughs> oh, also I have decided to not film my wedding day just because I want to be in the moment. I want to be enjoying my time. I want to be hanging out with my friends and family and fiance, soon to be husband. And I don't want to be worried about filming. And I also don't want to make anyone uncomfortable by filming. It's also just gonna be so hectic that day. I feel like I'm gonna be running back and forth, like making sure things are set up correctly. But I am going to film some of my honeymoon. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film yet, but I do know I wanna make some sort of YouTube video and maybe also like an Instagram reel or something. So there's that to look forward to. And then yeah, after the wedding madness, when I come back, I'm going to possibly start with a personal trainer. As I mentioned previously, I may be collaborating with another YouTuber who is a personal trainer. And yeah, I hope it all works out because it sounds really fun. This is my last video as a single woman. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, comment congrats fiance on the promotion. <laughs> if you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!